Hi guys, it's Nina. Welcome back to my channel. The other day I went shopping and managed to find two old collection pets, so I'm going to open them right now and give you guys kind of a backstory to how I found them just so the video doesn't get too boring. Also, I set some Christmas lights as if it wasn't obvious by now. So starting off with this Blythe set, it doesn't come with a Blythe doll, but whatever. So it's this really cute crocodile. I always say cute in all of my LPS reviews and all of my new LPS videos. It is so frustrating, like looking back at them, I regret so many things. So tour of the box, that's slowly becoming a thing in my channel. Um, back of the box looks like this. And I really, really, really was hoping I could find this corgi. I own this snake, by the way. <laughs> So on with the actual unboxing part of the video. I found this LPS in a supermarket in the toy section, because you know all the supermarkets have a toy section that's really relevant information. LPS are so hard to get out of the box. What? What? So it comes with this postcard, those most travel pets. I think these are travel pets, by the way. So postcard, which I'll probably send to my grandma. Just kidding, guys. So we were looking for LPS, and ugh, they literally had nothing, like absolutely nothing. So I was walking, walking, and I was losing my mind because I hadn't spotted anything related to LPS. Not even those like um, small sets, which come with like the little teeny tiny LPS. Not even those which are usually very common in toy stores. And yeah, so I was walking past through all of the aisles. And some gate at the, like the, the end of the aisle, like the, the last, so if this is the aisle, then like the last section at the end of the aisle. I found this LPS, it immediately caught my attention. And yeah, so this is the LPS out of the box. Oh my God, I love it. It's my first crocodile and I'm so excited. This LPS will look so good on camera for my photography. So yeah, this is the first LPS I got and it comes with a leash. Why would a crocodile need a leash? I don't know, it just really bothered me for some reason. Next, we went to Toys R Us and you can tell just by looking at the state of the box, this guy has gone through a lot. So on to unboxing the little crab. So the way I found this pet, I was searching all around the store if I found any old generation pets and it seems there was no luck for me. Ah, it's so cute. I'm in love with all the colors. Seems there was no luck for me because Toys R Us is full of G4 pets, which are so ugly, I hate them. Don't get me wrong, there are some, just a few pets that are pretty nice, but overall they're complete crap. Sorry guys. And the quality, I mean, you can tell it's plastic. Obviously these are plastic as well, but there's, those are just like a rubbery plastic and they have like an oily texture, which is so disgusting. No props for you, Hasbro. And yeah, I was just looking around to see if I found some, there was this box full of G4 pets and I was just searching, searching. Toys R Us was literally about to close down. It was five minutes to 10. And suddenly to my surprise, I pull out this really old box, which I, I'm pretty sure it's about three years old. I mean, come on. And yeah, I found this crab. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. Tune in for more videos this Christmas. And as always, comment down below which LPS was your favorite. And I'll see you guys on my next video.